Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Max Blog. All right, today I'm going to share with you what are the difference between these two G-Shock GA100 G-Shock GD400 okay if you watch my previous video I did the review on both of these unboxing and review for both of these so you want uh, to know detail maybe you can check on my uh, previous video so today we will do comparison between these two right uh, whatever whichever is pro for this one or this one or whatever is con for this one and this one all right okay let's start it okay the front the face uh, the face of the watch actually GD400 coming with uh, metal protector metal protector very nice this is nothing front screen this is fully digital this is digital and analog so some people do they would prefer digital and some would prefer analog so that's why I think this is uh, depending on individual so there's uh, the main difference on the front which is uh, okay GD400 fully digital GA100 they got digital and also analog okay at the bottom here they got light button and uh, light button at the bottom and then for the GA100 you use the reverse button on your right top corner for the light okay okay that's the only different on the front nothing much function same right these two having same function so function wise nothing we can say okay that's the front at the back actually look almost same but gd400 is only shock absorbing but ga100 is coming with shock absorbing and anti-magnetic anti-magnetic okay that's the only difference that's why actually uh, ga100 is slightly expensive than uh, gd400 because they got analog and digital and also anti-magnetic so this one is only digital and shock absorbing so this is slightly expensive when we talk about the price all right nothing much on the back let's go on the strap the band racing band as you can see these two very different huh? okay j100 like the old g-shock band they have something like a wave here both sides wave so at least very hard you cannot bend it actually the function is to be bent but uh, you can bend it but they got a limit most most of the time at least consider stagnant lah. it just there huh? so which is different on gd400 they got a new design with something like a buckle on the top and bottom connected to the watch okay so wearing experience should be better on gd400 but still subjective we'll go in detail that later eh? okay okay the band the strap gd400 is softer uh, softer than uh, ga400 that's why i told you is 
more convertible to rare uh, GD400 versus GA100. Alright, actually I did uh, wear it for a few days. So, what I can say, GA100 is suitable is suitable for people who's having medium to large uh, risk I, and I'm not recommended for someone who's having small risk so who's ever medium to large risk this one can fit you nice but I think the large risk is much better compared to medium but uh, in general I think medium to large uh, risk and then you can fit with this one J100 but for those who's having small to medium risk I would suggest to go for this one GD400 huh? and not for the people who having a big risk a huh? uh, large risk because uh, because of the design actually like I said this is wave design so it's good for the medium to large and this is the new design buckle design I think it's suit for the small to medium resize even though if you look at the face actually the size of the watch both is almost similar so uh, but the wrist is uh, playing a big role here to fit your desired wrist uh, either small, medium or large okay as conclusion uh, GD400 small to medium size wrist J100 medium to large size uh, wrist okay uh, when we talk about comfort Actually, this new design is for me amazing. It's amazing. It's really comfort to wear. I wear it one whole day from morning till night. And it's really comfortable and don't left any marks on your hand. It's really comfortable. GD400. Okay? And for J100, as you know, the wrist actually is slightly harder than uh, GD400. So that's why when you wear it, actually it's still comfort because the both watch is not so heavy. But through time, when you're wearing for a long period, Actually, they will left a red mark on your hand, eh? which coming from the buckle. From the buckle. I don't know, for the medium wrist size like me, uh, small to medium, actually the buckle like to tend to push inside, inward. So that's why actually it left red mark on my hand after wearing this for a few hours so that's why when we talk about the comfortability i think gd400 win okay let's conclude on the front so this one uh digital and gd100 analog and digital so i think I give a win for GA100 for this one because uh, most people like to have analog. But I think when we talk about hardcore, I think uh, the fully digital is much better compared to analog and digital. Okay, that's on the front, on the back. Uh, function is the same so we just ignore about function because pose is the same basic 
timer, stopwatch, alarm, world time, main screen. Okay, at the back, GD400, just short absorbing, GD400, uh, GA100, short absorbing, and also anti-magnetic. So, this guy win for that anti-magnetic. Alright, okay. And then, the last one, the risk and wearing experience. For me, uh, we can say the tie here. Because GD400 comfortable, yes, very comfortable, but it's only comfortable for people who's having medium, small to medium size wrist. It's comfortable. So, this one, comfortable for people who's wearing, uh, who's having medium to large uh, size wrist. Right? So, this is not recommended for large wrist. This is not recommended for small wrist. So that's why I think both should be considered both having pro and con on this uh, on the uh, band uh, on the strap. I think that's all what I can conclude here. If you have any question, just leave a comment below and before we end the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I uh, hope to see you again on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.